There is no question that SUVs are taking over the automotive market. They typically offer more practicality, the same or better gas mileage as cars, and now they're being built with supercar-like performance. I'll be showing you six modern SUVs that put motorcycles to shame in the race. Hey guys, Christian here. As you can probably already tell, this isn't my typical intro to my videos. Well, the reason for that is because I'm sick. And as hard as it was to make this video, I just didn't want to put it off any longer. I also wanted to thank all of you guys that have continuously supported me. Exactly one year ago, I uploaded my first video here on YouTube and the attention my channel has received since then has been a dream come true. I couldn't have done it without you all. Thank you. That said, Let's begin. The first SUV is the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrofolio. This is Alfa Romeo's third major car to hit the United States as of recently after its last exit in the mid 1990s. And man, did they really captivate some serious attention with the Stelvio Quattrofolio. Not too long ago, it held the title for the fastest time ever posted by a production SUV at the famous Nobergren track, beating out the Porsche Cayenne Turbo S by around eight seconds. But as of recently, it holds the number two spot for the fastest SUV around the Nurburgring. First place goes to another SUV, which I we'll talk about later on in this video. The Stilvio Quattrofolio comes equipped with a Ferrari derived 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 that produces 505 horsepower and 443 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 happens in 3.3 seconds according to Motor Trend. The craziest part is that it carries the same engine used in the lighter Giulia Quattrofolio that weighs 500 pounds less and still manages to accelerate faster from zero to 60 by 0.3 seconds. That is some sorcery right there. The Stelvio Quattrofolio offers an intense lightweight construction, such as aluminum front end, rear subframes, and suspension components, as well as an aluminum hood, roof, and doors. Combine that with its all-wheel drive system and super-capable twin-turbo V6, and it's no surprise it's in the discussion for one of the fastest production SUVs ever made. The interior looks just as sporty as the outside, offering high-performance leather and Alcantara seats, a Formula 1-inspired steering wheel, and push-start button located on the steering wheel. I also wanted to mention the four-leaf clover found on the side of the Stelvio Quattrofolio for those that didn't know, it signifies the company's old race car drivers. The Stelvio is a truly special vehicle and it definitely caught the attention of many auto journalists but it still hasn't sold as well as Alfa Romeo thought it would. This car truly needs to be a hit if the brand has any hope of success in the US. The next SUV is the Porsche Macan Turbo. Take Porsche's hottest selling model and add some kick to it and this is what you get. The 911 might be Porsche's heart and soul but when it comes to overall sales, the Macan is arguably the most important vehicle in the lineup from a financial standpoint. In 2017, the Macan accounted for 39% of Porsche sales. If you need room for five passengers, some extra space for cargo, and additional clearance for snowy days without sacrifice the industry benchmark driving experience, then the Macan Turbo is the answer. Some auto journalists even say that after driving it for long periods of time, you sometimes forget that you're in a 4,200 pound SUV, not a two-seater sports car. The Macan Turbo comes equipped with a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that produces 440 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque when equipped with the performance package. Zero to 60 happens in 3.7 seconds according to Car and Driver. Performance package also comes with the Sports Chrono Pack, which includes cruise control, more extreme driving controls, adaptive dampers, and 15mm lower ride height. The easiest way to tell the difference in trims when seeing the Macan on the road is by the color of the calipers. Some key standard features included with the Macan Turbo are the 19-inch wheels, an aggressively styled body kit, Alcantara roof lining, and a Bose sound system. This is truly the ultimate package if you're looking for sport car thrills in a practical SUV. Some even call it the best driving cross over SUV in the world. The third SUV is the BMW X6M. So this isn't the most practical SUV out there and actually offers less room inside than the BMW X5M. The X6M is more of a statement car that just happens to be an SUV. Its edgy look, high quality materials, and insane performance allow it to stand out from the competition. It comes equipped with one of BMW's most capable engines, the one used on the M5. It's a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 that produces 567 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. The zero to 60 happens in just 3.7 seconds. What really blows me away is that it can achieve that super fast acceleration while weighing around 5,200 pounds. And not only is it a straight performer, it's excellent on the track as well. Some auto journalists can't understand how an SUV that is this big, tall, and heavy can go so fast without getting all wonky under hard braking and cornering at its limits. BMW definitely achieved the impossible by making the X6M a track car. Most of its handling relies on the dynamic performance control which works with BMW's X-Drive system to continuously distribute torque between the wheels, from 100% at the rear to up to 
10 to the front, putting power and grip where it's needed the most. Inside, you get sportiness, features, and quality you expect, like M sheets, merino leather, wireless phone charging, and Wi Fi preparation. While this might be BMW's most controversial vehicle because of the lack of practicality and insane performance at a high price point, this car will still turn heads and wipe the floor with most performance cars, whether on a straight line or on twisty roads. The fourth SUV is the Jaguar I Pace. When it comes to competition, the I Pace is aiming straight at Tesla's Model X. They offer similar features, but unlike the Model X, the I Pace has a much better styling. It comes equipped with a 90 kilowatt hour battery that powers two core centric motors that power both the rear and the front axle, making power of 394 horsepower and 512 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 happens in just 4.5 seconds. Not only is the I Pace super quick, it also offers features to make it an excellent everyday multi purpose vehicle. It can travel off road, hold a roof rack, tow up to 2,000 pounds, and can even sustain driving in 20 inches of water. Its adjustable air suspension is super versatile, allowing you to drop the ride height down 1.6 inches to allow passengers to board easily, lift the height by 2 inches for off-road work, and automatically lowers by 0.4 inches when driving over 65 miles per hour to further reduce drag. If you're not a big fan of driving hard in complete silence, you're able to activate two levels of drivetrain sound, that way you can feel more immersed. The funny thing is that Jaguar's slogan for the I-Pace is roar quietly. Jaguar definitely doesn't need an audible combustion engine to make a statement when it comes to performance. The interior is super impressive and offers Jaguar's first in-control touch pro dual infotainment system. Two touch pads, one 10 inch upper screen and one 5.5 inch lower screen. One of the coolest features is the machine learning incorporated with the iPace. The SUV will learn your habits and automatically change certain infotainment settings based on your history. The climate control knows how many passengers are in the car and it will only cool and heat the relevant areas to save energy. Guys, this is the future. And at a starting price of $69,000, it's cheaper than the equivalent trim Tesla Model X. Which one would you rather own? The Tesla Model X or the Jaguar I-Pace? The next SUV is the Mercedes-Benz AMG GLC 63S. Remember earlier in this video I said the Stilvio Quattrofolio was dethroned at the Nürburgring? Well, this is the SUV that took the title for the fastest production SUV around the track. To be exact, it was faster by 2 seconds than the Stilvio. And I'm sure another SUV will soon dethrone the GLC 63S as well. For automakers, it's all about bragging rights. The GLC 63S comes equipped with a 4 liter twin turbocharged engine that produces 503 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. In fact, it's the same engine used in the AMG GTR but with around 70 less horsepower. But get this, the GLC 63S is faster than the AMG GTR 0 to 60 despite it being less powerful and heavier. 0 to 60 happens in just 3.3 seconds and completes a quarter mile run in around 11.7 seconds. The benefit of all wheel drive, I suppose. It carries an air suspension system with adaptive variable dampen, the AMG performance performance 4 all-wheel drive with fully variable torque distribution, the rear axle lock and differential and high performance ceramic composite braking system. And of course it's an SUV so it offers much more than just crazy performance. It's fully daily drivable, plenty of space for passengers and luggage, comes equipped with extensive safety features and offers a high level of comfort for long distance trips. Crazy to think that SUVs have come such a long way where they are being made with performance that challenge supercars. The thing is no matter what people think about these types of SUVs, they aren't going anytime soon especially not the GLC 63S. The sixth and final SUV on the list is the Dodge Durango SRT. A perfect choice for parents that really want a Hellcat but ultimately decided they needed something bigger with much more practicality. And with all the power that Durango SRT offers, the trade-off is not that bad. It's the biggest and fastest three-row mid-size SUV you can get according to Dodge. And behold, this is the only SUV that carries a naturally aspirated engine. It's a Hemi 6.4 liter V8 that produces 475 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 half happens in 4.4 seconds. That's about as fast as the Ford Mustang GT from a vehicle that's almost twice the size, weighing around 5,500 pounds. A quarter mile run happens in just 12.9 seconds, just right behind a Corvette's time. With its heavy weight and powerful engine, it's only right that the Durango SRT gets equipped with Brembo brakes with massive 15 inch rotors in the front and 13.8 inch rotors in the rear. The exterior looks super aggressive due to its hood scoop, deeper front splitter, and wide body kit. And an SUV this big and powerful has to be capable of towing big, right? How about being able to tow 80 8,700 pounds. The interior shines as well with its three rows that accommodate six adults comfortably, the second row being equipped with sporty captain chairs. The Durango SRT has it all, a powerful naturally aspirated V8 engine, plenty of room for the whole family, and massive intimidating styling that practically screams, get out the way. You can get a new one for around $62,000 starting, and if you really break down what you're getting, you'll realize that this is one hell of a bargain. Well guys, that was the video. Before you click away, make sure to follow me on Instagram as I will be very active on there in the next coming weeks with both channel updates and my BMW 335i build. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. That way you don't miss out on my next upload.
I'm curious, which of the six SUVs featured in this video do you like the best? Comment below and let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time. What's up, what's up? I hope everybody's having a good day today. My name is Christian, welcome to Autotainment. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my top tips on how to buy a used car.